This is ABC's World News Now. Hey, hello to our fans online. I'm John Muller. And I'm Diana Perez with the top stories on this Monday, May 26th, Memorial Day. All of the victims from Friday night's fatal rampage near the University of California campus in Santa Barbara have now been identified. They remem were remembered at a special mass last night. Police say all six were students. Three of them were the gunman's own roommates. It appears that the suspect's parents had grown fearful and were on their way to see him when they learned about the deadly shooting. Surprise from Pope Francis during his visit to the Mideast. He invited the Palestinian and Israeli presidents to a prayer meeting at the Vatican uh, next month in his apartment. Both accepted while visiting Bethlehem. He called for greater efforts towards peace. He also referred to the West Bank as the state of Palestine. While there, he visited Christian historic sites. And President Obama greeted U.S. troops at Bagram Airfield during an unannounced trip to Afghanistan. He got big cheers when he promised to bring the war to a close by year's end, and then President Obama promised to shake every one of their hands. But he would not promise to take a selfie with each of them. And for the first time in eight years, an American is waking up this morning as Indy 500 champion Ryan Hunter Ray won a sprint to the finish line, crossing that line half a car length ahead of Helio Castroneves. It was the second closest finish in Indy 500 history. When he got out of his car, Hunter Ray called his win a dream come true. A swig of that milk must taste so good. What a strange tradition, huh? Isn't that interesting? Remember the Ron Burgundy scene where he drinks the bad milk? Yes. <laughs> Not good. <laughs> no. You can get more news anytime at abcnews.com. I'm Diana Perez. I'm John Muller. Thanks for watching. This is ABC's World News Now. Available anytime, anywhere you want it. Choose ABC News, America's number one news source.